Okay, so this gameplay should have been up a long, long time ago. Well, about two days ago, because uh, um, this is my best gameplay on Infinite Warfare at the moment. And the reason I haven't didn't upload it straight off the bat was because one, the beta is a limited, it's a limited time, so I just wanted to grind the game out and get some gameplays. And two. I tried to get another one and from the title you can already tell this is not just a 60 plus gameplay not just an insane domination comeback but it is also a nuke gameplay and Jesus Christ this was hard and the thing is as well it took me about two hours to get this gameplay as I unlocked the, um, the variant weapon two hours before this gameplay because uh, obviously you need the salvage to get your guns and straight away on the beta I went straight for that the nuke gun the MV4 fallout I just seen nuke variant I thought to myself I must have this variant grinded the game out so much just to get the salvage just for the variant but couldn't get it game gifted me a thousand uh, salvage and then I just cash it straight in no second thought that gun is mine but just start with to start with I'm gonna speak about the class so the class I'm using the MV4 with the fallout variant which isn't obvious because you need the fallout variant because it has the, uh, the nuke attached to it um, got the red dot sight. You could use Elo. Elo is a good sight, but I just prefer the red dot. So I've been I've played with it more. Got a quick draw on because got to aim before my enemies. Got to get the the quicker ADS time. No fall grip because as you see from the gameplay, the gun has little recoil, and I think it has a stabilizer on it. Um, fall grip already attached to it. I'm not too sure about that, but got a stock on because I was trying it out. Not too, not big fan of it on ARs. Not seen a difference to be honest. I mean, a few times I've strafed left and right while aiming out of sight, and it's got me the 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 win in the gunfight. But I'm still iffy with it. And the extended mags because I just need as many bullets as I can. Perks, perk one and two, but not one and two. First perk one, I've got ghost because UAVs. Everyone loves them too much. Dexterity because that's the new sleight of hand you reload quicker and you change weapon quicker even though I'm no secondary perk 2 get out of here we don't need you anymore I and perk 3 hardwired because well. as you know That's hardwired like box count UAVs and everyone uses count UAVs because everyone knows everyone relies on UAVs that might take a while to process in but everyone relies on UAVs what are you going to do? counter it how are you going to count, count UAVs? hardwired so that's why I've got that and speaking of UAV count UAV that is my uh, my streak setup I'm using, and I've got the the combat rig of Merc with his uh, shield thing. I don't know what it's called, and his trait is the one that gives you a max ammo from the start. Now this is important. It's a must-have if you're going for a nuke, just for the fact that to get a nuke you need 25 kills with your gun. If you run out of ammo and pick up another gun. You are not getting a nuke because it doesn't count. The only way to do it is to melee people or pick up another gun with the same variant that has the nuke attached to it. So, the max ammo just ensures that I'm going to get this nuke. Um, what else is there? Not too much really. I mean, with scavenger, like you could be like, oh, just use scavenger. There's no scavenger's beta. So, without this combat rig, you're fucked. And it's annoying because the um, there's a combat rig called uh, War Warlord or Warfighter, I think. And his one gives you a ping, and this commentary is going to stop to start with because right I got this reaction live, so I would join back after you uh, you see the nuke come in, and also I, I count down my kills because I was fucking tense right now. So uh, yeah. I'm ten off. Nine. Eight. Enemy scout active. Secure. Friendly drone support is active. Enemy UAV is active. Seven. Six. 
I got five. Cheers, man. Assist your team at sea. UAV lost. I say again, UAV signal set at that shot. Four. Carry UAV signal offline. Three. UAV on standby. Yo, this is fucking nerve-wracking. Two. Friendly drone support is active. One. Counter UAV arriving on site. Yo, we fucking got it. Yo. Fucking got it. Fuck. That's Securing Bravo. Whoa. Uh I can get with the better now. I'm done. So uh, yeah. I was buzzing about this nuke. And right now I just got a quick little five kill streak. But it all ends very badly because I played semi, well I just played aggressive, which is the wrong way to play if you're going for streaks. This game, you have to play slow if you want to do well, because obviously the time to kill and everything, this and that, so I'd say should I go for another but one. But I feel that the time to kill in this game is too slow, maybe my accuracy is really bad, maybe my cut yeah, or my hit rate is really bad so for some reason, slow. but I died too quick. Um, hit fire in this game is a shambles. I've already got a fire. And unlike Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, jump shooting is not that good. Even though you see me jump around a lot because I'm used to Black Ops 3 and I'm a, I'm a retard. Uh, like that situation, I tried yeah, to fly, by the time I you died. See the flash, you're dead. But the best thing about that is you don't have to pre aim the sky or pre fire the sky. You, most of the time, 90% of the time, they're going to be at a boots on ground level either they're like, single jumping or jumping out of a window it, that's yeah, the only time they're really in the air again, and that's about it really the gunfight drop shot really is a thing in this game and single jump shotting like ghosts that's what i do but uh, um, what else is there sometimes there's a lot of things like in this game i like and dislike thing. which makes this game a 50 50 for me i mean cod 4 was remastered <laughs> everyone's gonna be playing that i'm gonna be playing that i'm gonna get gameplays on that I'm gonna upload that. Yeah. Maybe a lot more than this. Got the second half done anyway on the OBS. But uh, this class, this gun. Yeah. I I know this gameplay seems button. like I'm doing well with it. I hated this gun. The only reason I used this gun was because of this variant. I don't know if I'd use it ever again. I don't know if I use it competitive or not. Uh, because quite frankly, I I don't know. This was weird. I mean, I want. I will try and upload a best SMG class or well, my preference obviously this is my uh, best AR class in preference just because of nuke but I reckon when the game fully comes out these are going to be a lot easier because more guns are going to have variant from the nuke which obviously is going to make it easier in the sense that more guns to pick up um, more variety and if you run out of ammo you can pick up someone else's gun and um other than that, like, this game, I don't even know how, where I'm going on with this, like, I've tried this commentary like five times, so, I just want to get this done, because, I just want to get this video uploaded, this gameplay, because it's my best gameplay on this game, and, like, because I've got gameplays, right, but then, it starts off perfectly, and then, obviously, momentum on the pod, you die, okay, let that go, die again, die again, die again, just, game over but you see right now look at this comeback we brought it back I don't know how far we're down but by half time we were getting slaughtered so uh I hope you enjoyed this gameplay leave a like if you did I would highly appreciate a like because I sweat so much to play this fucking get this fucking gameplay and uh leave a sub if you haven't already because there's gonna be a lot of IW content 
a lot of classes, a lot of like little opinion guides from my point of view. And I should be at Lowe's and Competitive. So remember, leave a like, leave a sub, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Link in the description. Peace out.